In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called adding rational expressions with linear denominators with common factors, basic. Our example here is 2x over 2x minus 4 and x over 3x minus 6. And our first step will be to find a common denominator. So we'll start by rewriting each of these denominators in their factored form. In the first fraction, the denominator has a common 2 that can be factored out, leaving an x in the first term and a minus 2 in the second term. For the second denominator, both terms have a common 3 that can be factored out, leaving an x in the first term and a minus 2 in the second term. And now that we've factored the denominators, we can see that they have a common x minus 2 factor. That will need to be a part of the common denominator. And then looking at the numerical portions, we have 2 and 3. The common denominator between 2 and 3 is the least common multiple, which is 6. And now that we've identified the common denominator, I can look at each fraction and see that this first fraction, I would need to multiply the denominator by 3. So I would also multiply the numerator by 3. And for the second fraction, I would need to multiply the denominator by 2, which means I would also multiply the numerator by 2. And from here, we can see that that first fraction is now written as a denominator of 6 times x minus 2, our common denominator. And the numerator simplifies to 3 times 2x, or 6x. The second fraction is also a 2 times 3, or 6 times x minus 2. Again, our lowest common denominator. And the numerator is 2 times x, or 2x. Now that we have a common denominator between these two fractions, we can combine them to have a 6 times x minus 2 denominator. And our numerator will be 6x plus 2x or 8x. So we have done this addition and combined these fractions. However, we do want to simplify as much as possible. And I can see that both the numerator and the denominator have a 2 factor that will cancel. In other words, I could write the 8x as a 2 times 4x. And I could write the 6 in the denominator as a 2 times 3 with the x minus 2. This would allow me to cancel the 2's and have our simplified fraction with the numerator of 4x and a denominator of 3 times x minus 2.